Dear student, today we will learn chapter number three, indices and cube roots. Practice set 3.3. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it today itself. Let's start. Cube and cube root. What do you mean by cube of a number? If a number is written three times and multiplied, then the product is called the cube of that number. Let's see example. 4 into 4 into 4. You can see that 4 is written 3 times in the form of multiplications. Okay, so we will write this as 4 raised to 3. And the value of this is 64. So here 64 is called as cube of 4. Four is cube root of sixty-four. So sixty-four is cube of four, whereas four is cube root of sixty-four. Five into five into five can be written as five is to three, which can be written as one twenty-five. So here cube of five is hundred and twenty-five. Cube means if a number is taken. If any number is taken three times in a multiplication, the product obtained is known as cube of the number. So here 125 is cube of 5, whereas 5 is cube root of 125. Practice set 3.3. Find the cube root of the following numbers. Here we have the first question 8000. So what is the first step? We need to find out prime factor of 8000. Okay. What we will find? Prime factors of 8000. Let's see how to find the prime factors of 8000. Okay. Here we have 8000. Now we will divide 8000 by prime number. Okay. Prime number means a number which is divisible by itself and 1 like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. These are the example of prime numbers. So what is the smallest prime number over here? 2. And you can see the last digit of the 8000 is 0 which is divisible by 2. So we will divide by 2. If we will divide 8000 by 2, we will get 4000. Now 4000 is divisible by 2. So we will divide this by 2. So when you will divide 4000 by 2, what you will get? 2000. 2000 is again divisible by 2. So we will divide 2000 by 2. We will get 1000. We will divide 1000 by 2. We will get 500. We will divide 500 by 2. We will get 250. We will divide 250 by 2. We will get 125. We will divide 125 by next prime number 5. We will get 25. We will divide 25 by 5 we will get 5 and we will divide 5 by 5 we will get here 1. So here we got a prime factors of 8000. Therefore 8000 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. Okay. Now we'll make a pair. We will make a pair of same three numbers. You can see I have made a pair of 2 into 2 into 2. It's one pair. Now this is 2 into 2 into 2 is the next pair. And 5 into 5 into 5 is the next pair. Therefore 8000 equals to 2 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3. Correct. First group is 2 into 2 into 2 which you can write as 2 raised to 3. Second group is 2 into 2 into 2 which also you can write as 2 raised to 3. And third group is 5 into 5 into 5, which you can write as 5 raised to 3. Therefore, 8000 equals 2. You can see that the index of each of the index form is 3. So you can write this as 2 into 2 into 5 whole raised to 3. We will multiply the numbers which you can see in a bracket. We will get 8000 equals to 20 raised to 3. Therefore, square root of 8000 equals to 20. Now here we have the next question 729. 
we will find prime factor of 729 let's see how to find the prime factor we will divide 729 by 3 we will get 243 we will divide 243 by 3 we will get 81 we will divide 81 by 3 we will get 27 we will divide 27 by 3 we will get 9 we will divide 9 by the 3 we will get 3 and then we will divide this 3 by 3 we will get here 1 so we got a prime factor of 729 therefore 729 equals to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 now we will make a pair we will make a group of three same numbers okay so let's see here 3 into 3 into 3 is one group and 3 into 3 into 3 is the next group therefore 729 equals to 3 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 3 which you can also write as 729 equals to 3 into 3 whole raised to 3 therefore 729 equals to 9 raised to 3 okay so 70, 729 is cube of 9 it means cube root of 729 is 9 now here we have the next question 343 we will find prime factor of 343 let's see how to find 343 is divisible by 7 7 49 is 343 we will divide 49 by 7 we will get here 7 7 7 is 49 now we will divide this 7 we will get here 1 so we got a prime factor of 343 therefore 343 can be written as 7 into 7 into 7 now we will make a group of same three numbers you can see there is only one group of 7 so we can write 343 equals to 7 raised to 3 so 343 is cube of 7 therefore 7 is cube root of 343 therefore the cube root of 343 equals to 7 now here we have the next question minus 512 here also we have to find out cube root of this number so first we will ignore negative sign okay we will find the cube root of 512 so first we, we will find the prime factor of 512 we will divide this by 2 we will get 256 divide 256 by 2 we will get 128 divide 128 by 2 we will get 64 divide 64 by 2 we will get 32 divide 32 by 2 you will get 16 divide 16 by 2 we will get 8 divide 8 by 2 we will get 4 divide 4 by 2 we will get 2 divide 2 by 2 we will get here 1 so we got a prime factor of 512 therefore 512 can be written as 2 into 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 2 how many times you get 2 you can see 9 times right so 512 okay now we will make a pair we will make a group of same 3 numbers you can see 2 into 2 into 2 is one group 2 into 2 into 2 is another group and 2 into 2 into 2 is the last group so 2 into 2 into 2 the first group you can write as 2 raised to 3 second group you can write as 2 raised to 3 and third group you can write as 2 raised to 3 so 512 equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 raised to 3 therefore 512 equals to 8 raised to 3 so 512 is cube of 8 it means cube root of 512 is 8 therefore cube root of minus 512 is minus 8 now we have the next question to simplify here we have the first question cube root of 27 upon 125 now what we will do here we will find the prime factor of numerator and prime factor of denominator that means prime factor of 27 and prime factor of 125 let's see what we will get 3 into 3 into 3 and 5 into 5 into 5 now we will make a group of same three numbers so numerator is group of 3 and denominator is group of 5 okay therefore cube root of 27 upon 125 equals to 3 upon 5 
Now here we have the next question cube root of 16 upon 54 we will find prime factor of numerator and prime factor of denominator. So numerator would be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and denominator would be 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now you can see that 2 from 1 2 from numerator and 1 2 from denominator will get cancelled. So we will get cube root of 2 into 2 into 2 upon 3 into 3 into 3 which you can also write as cube root of 16 upon 54 equals to 2 upon 3.